Dear Toastmasters and distinguished guests, a warm good evening. Good evening. I am Toastmaster Shahnawaz, the subject is done for today's meeting. It is my pleasure to welcome you all to the 189th meeting of Mustafa Kawal Club. The mission of Toastmasters Club is to provide a positive and supportive learning experience in which the members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills, resulting in greater self-confidence and personal growth. As a protocol of Toastmasters International, you are requested to keep away from three taboo topics, sex, religion and politics, during the entire meeting. Before we kick off the meeting, let me request everyone of you to kindly switch off your mobile phones or put them in silent mode to avoid distraction. Also, you are requested to be seated comfortably and be your body. With this note, I would like to welcome our President, Postmaster Vivek Ayyapan for the opening address. So we have already added 
the five numbers, and we are already achieved. However, there are small mistakes happen while submitting the selecting the date of members. The four members selected after the date from first October onwards. Therefore, we already conducted our VP education. First master feedback already conducted. First master international and the positive reply received. And today, when he called to USA, he got the link for paying the members from starting from September onwards. And after that, we will submit their forms. The forms are ready. So we will achieve the Smedley Award, and we can. Uh, but we can celebrate these moments. But let us. Anyway, we have achieved five numbers. So for that, we can.
we have also have members here, so the new members can take the membership, membership from the senior members of our club, like Osmas Rajesh Pallegre, Osmas John Thomas, so many of members are. So anybody wants membership, how they improve? Because Master Ramaraj is having 17 years of experience. So definitely he will help us to improve your goals in leadership and communication. <coughs> Slow down. Take some time to give that project or report another look. Another look. Make the happy to avoid rushing through things and deliver quality words. That means not complete disorder but quality words. With this note, meeting number 189 is open. Now I would like to invite today's Toastmaster, Toastmaster Naufel, to take the captaincy of another hours. Hi friends, today my name is Jacob Argis, I actually am from Kerala. 
I am working here as an accountant in Rafi National. I have a family here, I have a wife and uh, three kids. Uh, I was uh, studying here. And really, it's a pleasure uh, to come forward here uh, as Toastmaster. Thank you. <laughs>
when I was reading about the Napoleon, it was discussed. So that was linked to, I remember that word is linked to Chinese. And uh, it can be used also to explain an artistic work, like uh, a novel. Uh, include, I mean, uh, very exuberant novel with full of jokes or full of new and new ideas. Like, also, it can be used to explain a good plantation uh, vegetation with uh, very highly flourishing plants. Like, so, in totally means uh, something a uh, quality overflowing quality noticeable in something also because it means, so it can be used so I request all of you to uh, use it today and the similar meaningful words are like jubilee and happy and attractive and energetic and so on and uh, the antonym words are silent, stunned, uh, gloomy things but the origin is Cuba uh, from Latin because that's from the English to exuberant in French and English. So once again, I request all of you to use the word today. And thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Master Ashraf. How lovely he explained about the word exuberant. So I'm going maximum try to use the while of the speech. Thank you once again. And moving on to the next segment, the next role player, sorry, the next role player is that uh, table topics. Yes, table topics. That Toastmaster Ramraj, he is going to protect us. Please, please, please. Toastmaster, good evening. Hello, Toastmaster, guests. Very good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Have you noticed something today? Yes. Balloons. Decorations. Balloons also, in addition to the balloon like colors. We have young guests as well as young Toastmasters, exuberant Toastmasters. Give a big round of applause. Coming to the topic, today I am going to be the table topic master for this evening. And my role is uh, the fun function, it's a fun, fun, uh, fun portion of the meeting that allows us to practice our impromptu uh, speaking skills. Table, talks, uh, table topics allows every member who does not already have a speaking role to speak at the meeting. I have prepared a small topics which is related to everybody. You can enjoy those topics when you come forward here. Uh, table topics on this uh, role improves confidence and impromptu uh, speaking skills. Table topic is a long-standing Toastmasters tradition intended to help members develop their ability to organize their thoughts quickly and respond to an impromptu question or topic. Table topics typically begins after the prepared speech presentations. The Toastmaster will introduce the table, I mean, topic master who will give a brief description of table topics and then call on respondents at random. Your response would ex should express your thoughts clearly and succinctly. Lastly, a lasting one or two minutes. Maximum allowed time is two, 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Master Ramraj. And the next role player is the table topics evaluator. It's going to run by that Mr. Toastmaster Shiv Kumar. Please come over. Toastmaster Devini, fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests, a warm good evening. Today I will be the test man, uh, uh, evaluator for table topics. Basically, I will be evaluating uh, table topics session, how well it is conducted, what kind of topics it was uh, chosen during the session, and in specific, how well it was presented by the speakers. Basically, impromptuness of the speakers is something which will be evaluated during the session. And uh, over to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. The next role play is the general evaluator. He is going to conduct by Toastmaster Rajesh Maligre. Toastmaster, good evening, fellow members, and welcome guests. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. As a general evaluator, I am watching this uh, whole meeting from start to end. 
and end of the meeting, I'll be giving a report. I'll be evaluating all the old players, except for the those are given the project speakers because project speakers will be evaluated by the evaluator. All others uh, will be evaluated me, including the audience. And uh, hopefully, in the next meeting, we'll have a better uh, meeting for you. So the roll is completed and the next session is the thought of the day. It's going to conduct by Toastmaster John Thomas.
the message is it's purely up to the individual up to you and me to identify right opportunities from these five chances then every stone has an angel it's up to you to carve out the angel from it or just ignore it thank you thank you dr john thomas it was a wonderful message by him i think it's you can better to that uh, guest is a one stone you can choose this is your success journey you can start from here anyway thank you once again <coughs> so the next next segment is just let me let's go for the today's theme of the meeting we are learning we are learning what is we are learning how we are learning why we want to learn of course we are learning that's why we are sitting today here if you don't want to learn we will not be here right of course so what i am trying to give you it's not any rock and science or any more big things that i am going to give you in front of you the learning is something big or something else just in my perspective what is the learning just i am trying to give you that so the learning we are always hearing about the learning is very difficult to the people because everyone is giving the information to us yeah you do work hard you do work hard then only you will get the success you have to work very hard otherwise it is not easy so from the childhood onwards when we are learning to our school from that point onwards we are listening from the teachers from the parents from wherever we are going study work hard otherwise you will not get a good future so when we are started to grow this message is inside of us and what happening is that we are in a stress in our mind and whatever we are trying to get it's not easy to absorb in the single seconds or in a particular moment yeah of course we people are survive when we are getting what we are achieving our goals it's in another world but what i am telling the first when we are look at for example we are just look at the color of the balloons so we are just memorizing many things is coming it will now mind so in the same manner we need to get when we are approaching to our learning so for example if you want to prepare a speech or anything what happening we cannot easy to get that one because we don't have that habit in our mind inside our unconscious mind is giving that it's a hard or it's a stress so it's getting back so what is i am trying to give you we need to just stress less then learn so that's this is a today's meeting stress less and learn
whatever we are doing, we need to know our patient. Without that, it's not easy to get. And the next one is the analyze the topic. Whatever the topic, for instance, what is your patient? You have understood that and analyze about that one. And the next is to visualize your dreams. And the next one is to interact with ourselves and sharing knowledge with the people, teaching to others, watching media programs, observations, learn through mind mastering or game sessions. And final, focus the vision or goal. Without this final point, we cannot able to do anything, of course. So these are the system. And the first one, realize our passion. How we will realize our passion? We all have various types of passion, but the initial period of our life, we are not aware the right one. As I will explain over this. Because we were not realize our brain capacity, instead of that, we followed the comments by brain produces hormone which called as a dopamine. Yes, I think all we know about that one. How we are getting all this information because inside of our brain there is one hormone, it's in a dopamine. It's giving these activities. And just go no go for that neuroscience or anything, just give only the word only that the hormone is which called as dopamine and it gives more energy to do all the activities where the negatives are being increased, it's become an addiction. When that hormone is increased, it's become an addiction. Where it is the, the limit, it's a passion. So what is the difference? If it is an addiction, you will be go for that. Or you will be in the success point. So that you have to choose. That you have to choose where you are. When you realize your passion, you have to just calculate this. Then only you will get that. Okay. So then the next one, analyze the topic. Read or listen all the information of the topic. Then think. There is three times is the mention is a thing. That means it's a that much important to think about the subject. And deep analysis make you understand anything better than simply reading or listening. Something based on somebody else's opinion. Of course, we need to realize or we need to analyze on ourselves. We don't want to, okay, if I will not go through what he will think or how I will go and sit there. It's not like that. It's on yourself only. So you need to analyze yourself. Otherwise, what will happen? If it is science or article based on, if it is a real science or fact, what will happen? We cannot understand. Whatever the reality, we need to analyze first. Even by a simple example, sun rise in the east and set in the west. It's a common fact. But even as a beginner, we need to analyze. Why? Because we don't know anything before. I don't know. So we are the beginner, we need to analyze what the purpose of that, how it's happening. So the similar way, whatever the subject, we need to analyze. Okay. So for the time being, we have to move to our next segment. So let me just. So the next segment is the most interesting session. It's a prepared speeches. So as I already explained about the prepared speeches, we have the three speakers. There's a two icebreakers and one is a project, pathway project. And the icebreaker speech is going to present by the Toastmaster Prakash and Toastmaster Charles. And uh, another project is Toastmaster Shiraz. So before that, we have the evaluation segment also. The evaluator is also there. Toastmaster Sharvas, Toastmaster Shivakumar, and Toastmaster Vivek Elephant. So before that, uh, that uh, objectives of this point, objectives, everyone has got it, that uh, evaluators. Okay, I think everyone has got it that one. So, the first speaker is the icebreak speaker, Mr. Pragash. Just give, uh, before that, you, have, you want to get that evaluation, is going to give by Mr. Toastmaster Sharvas. Sharvas, please come forward and give that evaluation points. Toastmasters. Toastmaster Pragash is going to give the icebreaker speech, which is his 
first speech uh, in this uh, Toastmasters journey. So for each speech there are some objectives. For icebreaker speech, the main objective of, of icebreaker speech is to start speaking before an audience. That is the primary objective. Then uh, another objective is to discover the speaking skills you already have. So I am particularly uh, focusing on Prasmash Prakash. Your objectives are to start with speaking before an audience, to discover the speaking skills you already have. That are the two primary objectives. And uh, the purpose of this project is to introduce yourself to the other members of the Toastmaster Club and to learn the basic structure of public speech. Wish you all the best. Before that speech, the timer, can you just explain about the timers? For prepared speech, especially I break the, the time limit is 4 to 6 minutes, plus or minus 30. At 4 minutes, green light will be displayed. After 5 minutes, orange light will be displayed. And 6 minutes, red light will be displayed until you finish the speech. Okay, thank you. So one of the chance is Toastmaster Prakash, please come forward and just give your first speak. Just to believe in yourself. Nothing will work unless you do. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. So first I would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity and it's my pleasure to introduce myself. So myself is Prakash and from Tamil Nadu, India. So I am working as a electrical service engineer in ABB uh, for past 10 years. So I am going to introduce my lifestyle which I changed. So value is a value I started. So it changed my life. So I will explain you how it changed my life. So when I was, when we had a bachelor, when before the bachelor, we know how the food, food style is. So normally we take a lot of lunch foods and we are taking foods in our hotels. So when everything is fine and we are missing one thing is all the time is food. When we are away from home, we are, we are not uh, eating the healthy meals all the time. So there were our weight will increase. Even the food habit changes everything, even our physical and even mentally also. So after that, I put overweight around 25 kgs. So, and I tried so many diets, so even I end up with the carbons. So, I, and finally as an eye opener, I came to know as a paleo diet. So I found through the social media, and from, uh, from my friends referred me. So when I, when, which made me to reduce the weight almost 18 kgs within 100 days of diet. So paleo is nothing but an, the people in stone age period, they only hunt the, hunt the uh, animals and like they are eating like toasted and toasted. So and with some vegetables also. So now before starting the diet, so Normally, the pre-diagnostic health checkups are required. So we should not blindly take any diets, even these uh, paleo or keto, whatever it may be. So normally, we should do the health checkup because everyone have their different metabolism in their own body. So before starting any diet, so normally this diet will need to check the fasting sugar and the thyroid test. All the tests we have to do is initially to so ensure if you are doing the Right? After 30 days or 90 days, if we are feeling any abnormalities, we have to stop or we have to check with the senior person or doctor. So if those who are having sugar, they should have pre check with the doctors. Then if they suggest to start the bio diet, they can start the diet. So normally, what are the things to eat in paleo? So egg, meat, fish, paleo vegetables, milk, water, almonds and little bit of milk normally. 
So these are the fatty foods we can take normally while uh, starting the paleo. So mainly thing, the, what is the concept is the low carb and high fat diet. So normally we have to reduce the carb. Uh, reduce the carb. So we can, there are a lot of applications are available in the Android's uh, Apple store. So we can calculate our food whatever we intake, it will calculate our calories. Like normally in the value diet, we should take 1000, 200 to 1500 calories is minimum. So in some other diets, they will limit our food intake. So normally it will make us a carbon. So but in this diet, we can take whatever we need. So until you feel free. So, so before I am starting this diet, so even the one kilometer also I will not feel to walk. When I start this diet, almost nowadays I am walking like 20 kilometers, 18 kilometers a day, and uh, I feel like uh, uh, energetic. I am not feel any. Uh, I feel energetic only. So even though I am taking, I am not taking rice at all. So first 100 days, even single day, I am not cheating with uh, like uh, junk foods like junk foods or sugar. I am not taking any sugar. Even no rice, no grains. And then uh, uh, no the carbonated drinks and all. So it will give the good results. Even I have like uh, normally health issues also there. So it normally cured everything. So people are telling when we are time before starting I discuss the people. They are telling that don't take this type of just referring social media, don't take this much of diet, it will affect your health. So when I what happened, you know, there is a different uh, four color books are available. When I start that before I'm starting the diet, I just read all the blogs. Almost five other people are available. So those people are the seniors or the mentors are available. Some doctors are also available. We have to post the blood test report in that group. This is a closed group. We have to post our blood results. Then they will suggest us which type of diet we have to take. So those who are having thyroid issues, they, can have to, they don't take the meat items. They can go for which. So simply what the thing is, simply we should not take any diet without doctor's prescription or the senior's So main thing is nothing will work unless you do. Because before I'm starting, I give up so many times. Even I walk for two kilometers and after that I stopped. Many of the friends, they told that don't do like this and all these things. When I start doing, I got motivated. Within a four days, I lost almost four kgs. Then after that, I got self-motivated more and more. So I did it. Uh, so, thing is, to be in healthy life, better to avoid uh, junk foods, to take, I am not telling to uh, avoid the rice totally, Le uh, reduce the rice, uh, less uh, rice intake, and uh, add more vegetables, it will help to be a uh, healthy life. Thank you very much. And of course, as like me, we can follow the system. I think our Toastmaster and Rajesh Palik are also going to follow that one. <laughs> okay, so I need to join for that. Anyway, thank you. So the next speaker is the Toastmaster Charles. He is going to do the, his first speak as an icebreaker. Before that, we have the evaluation. Evaluation is going to be done by Toastmaster Shokuma. Can you just come over and just explain the whole thing? Good evening, uh, one and all. Again, in specific, uh, Mr. Charles, Toastmaster Todd Charles. Uh, this is the first speech of uh, Mr. Charles, uh, which is icebreaker. Basically, the objective of this uh, speech is to start speaking before the audience and uh, you have to discover the inner skills, public speaking skills and you just have to uh, build on the same and you should introduce yourself clearly and you should you may take us through your uh, whole life journey and uh, how you have joined the club these also you can explain and uh, basically this icebreaker speech uh, should have proper opening body and conclusion, opening should can be with a uh, statement or whatever and conclusion should support that opening 
and in body you can build on that. You can actually uh, take us through the whole story. Yeah. And all the very best. Thank you so much. Before the speech, timer, can you just explain the time for the speech? Time given for the speaker is 4 to 6 minutes. At 4 minutes, I will show green light. 5 minutes, I will show yellow light. At 6 minutes, I will show the red, red light and give the speaker a speech. Thank you, Toastmaster. So, the next Toastmaster, Charles, please come forward and the time is for you. Right? So, 75% uh, was happy, it was good enough for me. 
But anyway, before I uh, got graduated, uh, my projects were done, the review was over, right? Uh, so pretty much everything was done. And I was relaxed and I was waiting for the graduation and everything. I was going through this uh, YouTube, uh, you know, I was going through the videos, music and everything. And Shivke Rajasta, he started talking again, right? The Cuba, throw your heart and everything. And uh, he twisted my mind. So I started throwing my heart over. This time, I think I threw my heart to a right destination. And uh, it landed in uh, Australia. I went for my master's degree in Australia. So I did uh, my two years master's degree there. And uh, then I worked there for three years. I finished my master's. I worked there in uh, Telstra, which is one of the national telecom uh, provider. I worked there and uh, done there. Returned back. Uh, People were thinking, this guy is crazy, he's coming back from Australia, he should have settled down there. And I thought, I need to pursue something else. Okay, I got an opportunity in uh, Oman uh, as a deputy director of uh, information studies. I took that opportunity rather than you know sticking out to uh, regular ones. I went to Oman, I worked there. And uh, there I realized that uh, I started uh, talking to people, I started doing uh, marketing with higher officials, military, and everywhere. I did some public speaking, but uh, then I realized public speaking within your domain, within your own comfortable self, it's always easy. But standing one feet above the ground, okay, and standing before the podium is not that easy. And uh, what we are delivering in uh, Postmaster is definitely out of the domain. So this is where I wanted to master and I always wanted to get in, uh, into postmaster, you know, program since quite long. So Abu Dhabi gave me this uh, wonderful opportunity, and uh, I'm happy that I'm uh, with a wonderful crowd and an exuberant uh, atmosphere. Uh, well, that goes my that goes with my icebreaker speech, and I'm going to conclude it here. Yes. Yeah. 